Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. I just created a video for Palantir yesterday. You can go ahead and check that out. Um, we are now looking at ticker symbol BN. This is Brookfield Corporation. Uh, and this was at the request of one of my lovely subscribers or just some random person who's not subscribed, but they should be. Uh, all right, so let's look at this chart. First of all, um, it looks like it had its low of 28 back in April. Or I'm sorry, March of 2023. Um, and it has kind of hit some resistance at $35.82. Pretty good run there, if you ask me. Let's see what, uh, what is that in terms of gains? Uh, 27, 26% gain. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. Uh, let's look at the RSI. The RSI is strong. The momentum is kind of heading downward at the moment. Money flow is exiting on the daily. This is all the daily, by the way. Uh, the relative momentum indicator is hot. So again, um, this could be continuing upward. We'll never know. Or will we? Uh, the weekly chart looks like it is curling for a reversal. So we can see there has been quite a bottom put in place. I would say from about here to there so we are uh, seeing there's quite a bit of accumulation in these areas um, no noticeable green candles here meaning it's been pretty under the radar in terms of accumulation however the stock is turning up and outward it looks like um, and if we look at the RSI down here it is kind of strong actually it's at 54 which is good Momentum is turning up, meaning we're about to start a potential run. Uh, money flow looks like it is in a bullish flag. Let me show you what I mean by that. We have our flag pull there, and then we have our flag here. Uh, let's change this to show the color of it to be blue, I guess. No, that's not light enough. White? Nope. Make it white. There we go. So you can kind of see a, a bull flag here heading upwards, potentially. We never know. Uh, relative momentum indicator is moving upwards, so that's a good sign here as well. Uh, looking at the monthly... Ooh, i got to move this real quick. Look at this monthly candle. That is very bullish on the monthly. A lot of demand right here. A lot of demand. And as we can see, literally... Again, kind of what I was just talking about. So much. Oops. What happened? What happened? So much accumulation in this area. So a lot of buying. Um, again, we can see down here, no real big noticeable gray candles. Um, again, we are seeing this potentially turn up. A very bullish candle on the monthly, if you ask me. Um and the RSI is turning upwards. The momentum is flipping around, which is good. Uh, the MFI, the money flow, my chart is here. I'm just going to delete it, uh, is heading upwards. And the relative momentum indicator is also kind of following the MACD here and getting ready to kind of flip, flip like this. Um, all right, so you might be asking yourself, OK, you're just looking at charts. That's nothing special. Let's look at what we could see the potential stock price being. So what we're going to do is look at sales plus income plus market cap, if the market cap is over a billion, and then we're going to take cash and remove debt, then divide it by the shares available to see what the potential stock price could be. So again, we have uh, the company making $94,180,000,000 in sales. That is great. Uh, they have positive cash flow of 663 million. Good for them. There's a market cap of 56 billion 670 million. Also, really nice. Uh, let's add cash, remove debt. Did I see offering? I don't know. Okay. Um, total cash is 14 billion. That's amazing. Plus 14 billion at 396 million. 14 bill, 396, correct. 
total debt, probably several billions, 225 billion. This is Canadian. No, it's USD. Minus 225 billion. Where did I see that right here? 225 billion, 654 million. So this is negative for me. So this would be something I would not consider. However, um, this calculation that I do does not work for some companies. So we have a company like this. We have, uh, think of your big entertainment companies like AMC Networks, uh, Viacom, etc. So let's just talk about this a little bit more and see, you know, if my negative number here is warranted. So uh, we have total assets of 441 billion and we have total liabilities of 397 billion. That is scary because if something happens, they have 44 billion in leeway to spare them, which is not much considering what they have going here. Uh, their total debt is at an all-time high. Total assets also at all-time high. Good for them. Just this ratio here is just really concerning. When was it ever very... I mean, it's been operating like this as long as we can see where it's been really tight in terms of assets to liabilities. Wow. A uh, 10% owner sold everything. Um... So this one's just, look at some of the uh, banking stocks that we've seen recently. They were also similar in similar situations like this where they did not have much breathing room between their assets and liabilities. Just a little scary. Um, total revenue is at all-time highs. Good for them. Cost of revenue, oof, not good. They're paying $79 billion to make $94 billion. That's a little dangerous. That's a little dangerous. Gross profit is not what it is. I mean, okay, consider we have to consider we are only that we've only we've only seen one quarter reported so far, and we still have three other quarters. We have June, the June, the September, and the December. So basing off basing the gross profit off that is not very fair at the moment however it's just so it's worrisome it's so worrisome <laughs> operating expenses are 90 billion um man just these numbers are just way too close for comfort for me um i cannot so what I can do is a separate um, a separate price calculation. And this one is more of, a, I want to say, aggressive. So what we can do here is just do the sales and income divided by the shares outstanding. So we're not going to include the market cap and we're not going to include the debt or cash. So it's a slight misrepresentation because... They have so much in debt that is not being accounted for here. However, this method has worked before. I just don't know. Um, I just don't, you know, want to get in the habit of using this. So 94 billion, 180 million in sales, plus income of 663 million. And we're going to divide this by 1 billion, 500 million. So this is a $63 stock trading at 34. I mean, it's $63 doable yeah the price target right now is 48 so um again like their sales are doing very well like it's stair-stepping very nicely um the shares outstanding are going down actually it's at 1.5 billion right now but they might be looking at the outstanding here um eps is kind of all over the place at the moment um so again, in terms of a momentum holder and something you could likely hold on to to the future, uh, potentially yes, and it's turning around. This stock used to be a 90 cents and now it, it reached over 50 bucks. So 
Um, while this play is not for me, um, historically, this could be a really good price to get in if you have a higher risk tolerance. And it bounced off long-term support here. We can see this support has been here since 2009. So this support's been here for a decade plus. So that's good to know. Um, again, do your own due diligence on this. This one, um, again, you need to be familiar and comfortable with your risk tolerance. Historically, this is a really good price to buy because it has bounced off long-term support. Um, looking at the SMAs, um, we could see, so Monday is the end of the month uh, for July. If the price does not close over 34.79 on Monday, this could be a fake out. And I say that because we can see the 50 SMA right here, this orange line. Um, it got tested before and, and the price bounced and it bounced. Now it bounced here on this red candle and it fell through, it bounced, it fell through, bounced through, it fell through. Now it's acting as resistance right here on this candle and it's also acting as resistance here. But keep in mind, we just bounced off a long-term support line and momentum is heading upward. But take with that what you will. I don't feel extremely comfortable with this one, just based off of the debt. And if you are interested in this company, I would look into their debt uh, payments because with rates going up, that is going to affect their debt. They have 250 million billion total debt 225 billion dollars in debt that is scary so and do they offer a dividend they do so again charts say this is great um financial data points say iffy and then the debt just says no 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 so with this one, I don't know. I would, and they they did an offering of fifty million dollars. Yeah, I would just do more homework into this one if you're interested. Um, you know, we're we're kind of seeing like a a long term support being tested. We've got basically a long term uh, flag here, a bull flag. So do with that what you will. Um, I, again, am not 100% comfortable. We can draw millions and billions of lines on the chart, but it, that does not erase the $225 billion in debt. They're bringing in $94 billion. Even if they, they're not even being aggressive with their debt payoff right here. You can see their debt was at 5.58. Now it's at 5.55. Just not a good look. Not a good look. Um, if you have patience, see how this does for the month of August. So if the month of August, if the stock does not break above 34.76, I would be a little scared, nervous. Um, because what we could see is a potential move down. And we could see the move possibly getting to say right here twenty dollars if things kind of hit the fan but i mean if this thing has a banking crisis on it this is going to be a this will be this will go down to the 365 sma down at 10 bucks and then yeah just not a good overall not good books here not good books um, I wonder if there's any data, Brookfield Corporation debt. They defaulted on 161 million office property debt. Oh, gosh. Ugh. 
Brookfield Corporation insolvency. Brookfield's detail tag goes into receivership. Brookfield defaults on two LA office towers. Oh, you guys. It might be a different Brookfield, though. I don't. Again, I would do this as your homework. Um, yeah, I would do this as homework. I don't know if they're related to um, correlation BAM. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Okay. Scary. Scary stuff. Do your own homework into this. I'm nervous if you own this. So let me know your thoughts. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful month and all your dreams come true. Thanks. Bye.